I'm back, baby. It's DDK, and I'm back today with another video. Shoot out to you for tuning in. If you want to win, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. In today's video, I'm going to give you my five biggest tips for you guys to be successful in the cargo van business. <laughs> Tip number one, you are gonna find out which apps work best in your area. This is what you're gonna do. You are gonna go to Google. I have a, a video telling you guys exactly which five apps I think but personally are the best to sign up for for a cargo van business. You're gonna go look at that video, then you're gonna go to Google. You're gonna type in the app name, you're gonna look up and make sure that they have that app in your location. Now, even if you do not have a van, you are still, let me say it again, you are still going to sign up for the app even using the car. So you might want to start off using your car. You're going to do some test runs. You're going to ride around and get it a little bit. And then when you get your van, you're going to go on the app and switch it to cargo van so you can go out there and get them vans. Now, you finally got your cargo van. You did everything I told you to do. You didn't got the apps. You know which ones work good in your area and which ones don't. So you signed up everything. You got your van trying to go out there and get them vans. Number two, tip number two. Tip number two is you have to be willing to make adjustments. Let me say it again. Tip number two, you have to be willing to make adjustments. Everything is not going to go your way all the time, baby. Some days you're going to have slow days. You might make 500, you may make 300, you may make 100. It just all depends. But you have to be willing to make adjustments. Let's just say the apps is booming in your area right now. I'm talking about they're going crazy. You're going crazy. Ugh, you're getting crazy money. Then, for some reason, something happened and they fall off. You must then start doing some research and then find out what your next move is. You should be preparing for this already. So you should have set goals that you're gonna hit. So if the apps don't work, then you might move on. You might do some T4s, logistics. You might deliver packages for Amazon. You might do a lot of different things, but whatever happened, you have to make sure you out there getting that green. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want no problems, baby. I don't want no problems. I had to stop it right here. I know y'all want the rest of the tips, but guess what? We got to go get some of this money, and we pull up the sun, run to have a little fun, son. Get these funds to run. We're picking up one order. It is two bundles of pipes. We are going to drive 32.7 miles for 102 16. We about to go in this warehouse and get this green. Let's go. We are here at Sun. I want to have a little fun, son. What's going on? Um, I'm living a dream. I can't complain. So I haven't ordered uh, the last. It's five, five, three. John, I'm supposed to pick up uh, two bundles of pipe. That's, I don't know what that is. That's it. But that's what it said. Two bundles of pipe, three quarters. I don't know. You, how long you been working here now? Um, here? Yeah. I'm a Tim. Huh? I'm a temp at this place. I started with the sun run in October. Oh. Yeah, my warehouse is in New Mexico. For real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got some oh. people out, so I'm just like trying to make things go smoothly here. Okay, so you so you live in New Mexico? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah, straight up. I thought she's, okay, so you, oh, so you just come in here to help right now until they get somebody permanent. Did you go back home? Yeah, yeah, I think. So you got to stay in the hotel? Yeah, they put me up and everything. And then, so how long you gonna stay here? Uh, till next Friday. Next Friday. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, solid two weeks. Oh, so you so you go here for two weeks, and then you go back home? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna keep rotating like that for a little bit. For real? Do you like to travel, or not really? Oh, I love it. Oh, okay, that's cool yeah. then. Hey. Oh, you got shit over here. Dang, you came from New Mexico. Yeah. So what do you do out there? The same thing you do here? Yeah, for summer. Yeah. Oh. Well, my warehouse is different. It's not. We don't install. We just do service. So people just go off for of service calls, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. and so you work in a warehouse there too? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You get to travel, live it out. Yeah. So yeah. how do you like Illinois besides the cold? Is it, is it ever really that cold out there? Um, sometimes, we're not this cold. Like right now, yeah. it's probably colder right now than it has been all winter over there. Okay, so how cold is that? Like how, how cold did it get? Um, like if it freezes, it's a it's an event. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it goes below 32. Well. For real? Yeah. So, matter of fact, we gonna slide them up here. So we ain't gotta worry about it. I appreciate your help, brother. Yes, sir. Hopefully, I'll be back very soon to get some more. Yeah, yeah, I'm 
I'll be here. I'll help you out. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. We are here to draw this order to get an order. Where you guys want me to sit these at? Um, let me just sit it right here in the grass. Okay, I have another one for you too. Yeah. Uh, drop this right here. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's going on, boss? Us, yes, sir. I mean, I want some more. I can go back and get some more. <laughs> if y'all need me to, hit up the photo. Yeah. Reese, right? Yeah, Reese, R E E S E. That's where I'm. How long is it gonna take y'all to do this one? Uh, That's all the furniture y'all got? Oh, it's they over there. This one probably gonna take uh, it shouldn't take long. We got the new mounts. You know, we probably be out. Oh, it's a it's a different type of mount. Yeah, we got there's two different mounts. There. Well, actually, it's probably like five different mounts. Type of mount oh, system. so they made they made a new set of round yeah, mounts. So, it so it's make it easier. Faster, yeah. Oh yeah, get that money. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Let's go. Tip number three: Stay in your own lane and do your own thing i know you be seeing these different channels when people go over the road and they make all this money they're making a thousand dollars twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars in one day and all that stuff but you have to be built for driving like that you driving 14 15 16 hours is not for everybody so you need to find out what works best for you that could be over the road you could be an over the road driver you could do the gig apps you also may have businesses right in your backyard you might be living across the street or down the street from these multiple businesses that need deliveries going and you could be the one making that money so always remember stay in your own lane and do what works best for you just because it worked for somebody else does not mean it's going to work for you tip number four be willing to say no let me say it again tip number four be willing to say no just because you see the dollar signs and you see you about to make a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars however many dollars does not mean the order is worth it does not mean it's worth it baby you have to be willing to say no because if you jump to everything you are going to end up losing money in the long run losing money and time while you're out there on the grind now example you might be an over the road driver and you might be they might got an order up there i'm talking about on this low board for twelve hundred dollars but they want you to go 1500 miles you're gonna be all the way in colorado then guess what you get stuck out there in Colorado and you out there for three weeks. See, that's the thing that y'all be paying attention to when like the over the road stuff. Y'all gotta pay attention to everything because sometimes some people get stuck in different states and they can't get out. So they got to do some deadhead miles. They gotta drive it to another state so they can make some money. Also, even with the gig apps, with the gig apps, if you jump for every dollar sign you see, you're gonna lose out on the big money. They be having some orders for the sub run, for instance, that you know they want you to do 12 miles, but you're only gonna make $56 or $60 or whatever. Hey, you might got to decline that one because guess what? A one for 180 might pop up. And that's going to lead me right into tip number five. This is a very, 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 very important tip. Learn from your mistakes. Please do not keep on doing the same dumb stuff over and over and over again. Learn from your mistakes. Guess what? For instance, I ain't, I ain't got a screenshot of it, but we did have an order that was trying to send us to Ohio from dispatch yet again, send us from Illinois to Ohio 367 miles to 542 dollars absolutely not you're gonna have a lot of deadhead miles so it's not smart to take that order and i have to learn from my mistakes do not continue to do the same mistakes over and over and over and over you know what be crazy baby the crazy thing about it is some people who make these same mistakes over and over and over they be having a nerve to complain about it what you complaining about you the one that did it learn from your mistakes be great and one more thing don't hate i hope you guys found those tips helpful baby please use the tips baby learn from my mistakes and be great baby i have done a lot of tweak i tweaked a lot of time i tweaked a lot of times using the gig apps from cars 
to vans, all this stuff. And that's the reason why I put it on the channel. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. You can go out there and earn as much money as possible, baby. That's my whole goal, baby. So make sure y'all get your pockets on swole. That's usually what I'm telling you. Go out there and get that green and nothing in between. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, what are you doing, baby? If you are not subscribed, you need to make sure you smash the subscribe button. This is the best gig tube channel on YouTube, baby. Comment below and let me know if I'm not or not. Comment below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And like it tomorrow, because the is bad. Why we can match is bad? The 2023 is big bag season. We gonna keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know the DDK, and I'm on my way.